blessed Sunday morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, thankful to God to come together with you today, and as always, try to encourage you to go to church today and worship the Lord, our Savior Jesus Christ, in spirit and truth, and serve others and be an assistant to others. And uh, today, the thought for the day goes to Second Peter chapter three. We conclude the book of Second Peter and. This chapter speaks about the day of the Lord. Verse 10 tells us that the day of the Lord will come like a thief. In the last days, we read in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 3, that there will be scoffers, people mocking Christians as they speak about the coming of Christ. We're living in those days. We read where about 1% of millennials and those younger have a biblical worldview of life. And there's a great falling away happening we as Christians should be looking forward to the day of the Lord, going home to be with the Lord. Revelation chapter 22, verse 20, the end of the Bible, it speaks about come Lord Jesus, come soon. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 22, reminds us come O Lord. Apostle Paul at the end of his life in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8, as he had faced execution and death, said he was looking forward to crown of righteousness and the coming of the Lord my friends we too as Christians need to be reminded that we look forward to going home to be with the Lord too many Christians want to live for this world they want to preserve their health their life here on earth and we should be good stewards of our bodies and we should take care of them but we shouldn't be consumed with this world Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior as he was facing his own death before Pontius Pilate in John chapter 18, verse 36, reminded us, he said, my kingdom is not of this world. You see, this world is under the sway of the devil. First John chapter five, verse 19 reminds us of that. Our citizenship might be, for me, it's here in America as a physical uh, citizen of this nation, but my citizenship truly is in heaven. Apostle Paul spoke of this under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit in Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. We spoke about how his citizenship was in heaven, and he looked forward to the day when God would transform his body, this body that's decaying here on earth, to the glorious body we'll have at the resurrection in heaven to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11, we read of all the great men and women of faith in the past and their lives and we read in verses 13 and 14 that they consider themselves as sojourners or pilgrims here on earth looking forward to a heavenly kingdom and a little earlier in the uh, first epistle of peter first peter chapter 2 verse 11 peter reminded us that we are to live as christians here on this earth living sober lives righteous lives in christ realizing that we're just sojourners and pilgrims here on earth. The day of the Lord is coming closer, my friends. We don't know the, the, the time. Obviously, I would never make a prediction. Unfortunately, others have done that in the past and have fallen short and proven themselves to be false prophets. But we can know the seasons and the signs that are happening. And yesterday, we, we read of the uh, news that Iran attacked uh, Israel um, for the first time ever from their own homeland. It's unprecedented what happened yesterday. And in the Bible we read in Ezekiel chapter 38 and chapter 39 of Gog and Magog. And many believe that that is speaking of Iran and Russia coming against Israel. And I believe that's true too. And when we see what's happening over in Israel, we could tell that something is really, really happening that's prophetic. Again, I am not here to make any predictions, but I'm just telling you what the Bible says. My friends, ultimately, we all need to be ready for the day of the Lord. We read in Amos chapter 4, verse 12, be prepared to meet your God. You know, you often hear me remind us of the statistics on average. Two people every second on the earth die. It's about 180,000 people a day, roughly 56 million people a year. 
We all have an appointed time when we're going to die. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 reminds us of that. Many people don't want to talk about death. They want to talk about how they're going to live their lives and how they're going to make plans and dreams for the future. But my friends, we're told in Job 14 verse 5 that we have a predetermined time that God has ordained for us to live on this earth. And we need to be reminded that these bodies, as much as we try to take care of them, going to the gym and eating healthy and taking supplements and whatever we do to try to preserve our bodies, and we should, there is a time when we are going to go to be with the Lord, whether we're going to see him as our judge or our savior. It's what we do with Christ here on earth. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 6 to 8 reminds us that the grass withers and the flower fades away. But the word of the Lord stands forever. These are promises from God's word. And as I said before, what is truly grieving is so many Christians today, especially in uh, prosperous nations like America, live for themselves, live for the joys of this world too much. And don't realize that they are truly just passing through. This is not our home. We should not be comfortable here on this earth. As I grew up as a young man, I lived for the things of this world, got converted at a young age at 19 in 1985, and as a young Christian, I wanted to physically take care of my body, working out, taking, you know, preserve myself, stay away from viruses and diseases as much as I can, and really didn't think much about getting sick and dying when I was younger, but now that I'm getting older, as I go to more and more funerals and wakes and cemeteries, I realize that the brevity of life is so real. I'm not trying to sound morbid or negative or pessimistic, my brothers and sisters in Christ, but we need to be prepared for the day of the Lord. Whether he comes and raptures the church or we see the end of time or we die unexpectedly, we need to be prepared for the day of the Lord. And the only way we can be ready is by trusting in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Christ told us in John chapter 15, verses 4 and 5, that he is the vine and we are the branches, and that apart from him we can do nothing. We must, for those who don't know Christ, they need to depend and trust in the finished work on the cross. Christ said in John chapter 19, verse 30, it is finished. There is nothing you could take away or add from what Christ did. We need to trust him. Not only trust him, but obey him. Surrender our wills to his. Luke chapter 9, verse 23 and 24, Christ said, If anyone would come after me, they must deny themselves, pick up their cross, and follow me. It's putting away the things of this world more and more. Realizing that we are to pack up the things in this world and realize that we're going to be heading up to heaven one day. But until then, occupy for the kingdom of God. Live for God's glory, not our own. Let God's will be done. We often quote that in the Our Father, but we could say that with our lips or with our minds and recite the verse, but do we truly mean in our hearts that we want God's will to be done? Or deep in our hearts, do we still want to be the king on our own throne? I hope today's devotional video, my friends, will remind us as we see what's going on in the world today, the falling away, the scoffing at the gospel, what's going on in the Middle East, the weather patterns, the things that are occurring as we see in Matthew chapter 24 and 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 1 to 5, where we see signs of the end times being fulfilled rapidly in our society today. And we continue to keep an abiding trust in Christ, looking to Him, glorifying Him through the Holy Spirit and by reading the Word of God, being in prayer, being in meditation, focusing in on him and less on ourselves. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today. May we be prepared for the day of the Lord. We don't know what today will bring, but may we be prepared, staying on the ark, the spiritual ark, which is Christ. In his name we pray. God bless you.